Hey DVG fam! <laughs> I'm home, I'm home, I'm home, I'm home. Why did you mind? I don't know. So guys, today is a different kind of video. It's a video that actually means a lot to us. And it's actually something that we filmed a year ago and we never put the video out. And today's video is basically gonna be telling you all about that story, but also showing you that video yeah. that we kind of just kept. So not everyone knows, um, if you follow me on Instagram, you'll see, because obviously it's a huge part of our life, but 10 years ago, my brother passed away. Um, we were really, really close. Our family, we just all adored him. So it, it was a real, real shock, and it was really, really hard. So he actually had a motorbike accident. So guys, don't go out on motorbikes. <laughs> but yeah, so he had a motorbike accident, and... Um, he was only 19. He had a little girl called Jamie and his girlfriend was pregnant at the time. Um, so he has another little girl that he, he unfortunately never got to meet. But for us, we're so thankful because we have a huge part of him in them. And my mum and dad really, really struggled. He was such a massive part of mm. all of our lives. He was the youngest of yeah. your siblings. He had the biggest heart. He was, he was just the life and soul, wasn't he? Like, yeah. But he was also he so wind, annoying. Wind he was up. also so annoying, but I he just would I, wind us up. Like unbelievable. Yeah, I can't tell you how much I just missed that. But missed those are the those the are the fond memories. Yeah. The things at the time which we were just like, oh Mickey, what are yeah. you just leave me alone is now what we look back and we yeah. smile about. It's been the worst thing that we've ever had to go through. Um I I will we will still struggle. There's good and there's bad days. That's that's the reason I said obviously about it affecting my mum and dad really hard because I know obviously they have really hard days and I know we try to do whatever we can to make sure they are having a happy life. Because mm. to me, oh gosh, I'm gonna get upset. Oh gosh. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah. Yeah, I just I just feel like obviously um, it's, it's so hard what's happened. But um, like now, all I want to do is just make sure my mom and dad are happy because I know that's really hard for them. Mm. Oh God, this must be a happy video. <laughs> it will be in a minute. We'll get on to that. Then. We'll get on to that. This video, we want it to be a positive and a happy video and there is a, a really nice story which is about to unfold yeah. here, yeah. something that happened a year ago. So, Yeah, so just so we're very clear, obviously you can see that it's filmed in an old house for one. It was on the anniversary so, of your brother's death, which is on the 7th of March. Of March. So it was, so we were okay to meet. Uh, Sarah's brother Mickey and Sarah's dad were they're quite into their cars and yeah. obviously bikes at the time as well. Your dad had this car which he really loved and it, it, and it wasn't by any means yeah, it was like just a, 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 yeah. a special or expensive car. It was just a car that him and Mickey really enjoyed driving. One of the things that can happen when you're going through grief, when you lose someone, is you can make some decisions that you later on regret, like your dad sold the car. Mm. And it's one of his biggest regrets and he always, always told us. Me and Sarah's dad, Pete, were watching this TV program where they basically, um, they, they surprise people who have like old cars and they do up their old car and then they surprise them with it. I had this idea, what about if we could find his old car that he has so many memories and he really regrets selling and fix it up and we can surprise him with it. It would just be the best thing ever, coming up to the anniversary of Mickey's death, and we just knew, put a smile on his face, wouldn't it? And we knew that's what we wanted to do, like, because obviously every time this year, it is like a really hard time, so it just, like, we just knew it would just be the best. The mission now was to locate this car. We had the reg number and we started searching, 
But then Sarah had this idea of, hold on a second, we know I the person he sold the car to. We don't know him, but we know I remember where he lives. No, yeah, I remembered where, where he lived. And we were but, like... But we, we, we hoped that he still lived there. We didn't Well, know. we hoped that he still had the car. It'd been yeah, like true. nine years since he had the car. And we yeah. were like... There's, and it was an old car at the time, so we were like thinking, there's no way he's going to still have it. What about if it's been scrapped? Like, yeah. let's just, this is our starting place, let's go there. So we rung Roland up, we were like, Roland, we've got a mission, let's go. And we set up in the car to the see three the, find, the three musketeers <laughs> to find this car, okay? Could be anywhere along here. What colour is it? It's black. I think it's black or was it like a dark blue? Who's oh, there? that's it. Oh, it's just come out. Someone there, I'll put the camera down. Oh, he's in, he's in, he's the in. The guy's in. The car's there and the guy's in. I'm gonna keep the. Where am I gonna park? Well, one, there's two. Oh. Is that bad, isn't it? What am I gonna do though? Where am I gonna. There's the car. And the guy who owns the house is actually just. He's on his drive. So here's the three of us in the car, and we drive past the house, and we, we see it in the driveway. Yeah. And we were just like so buzzing. We were like, no way, it's there, it's there, it's there. The next thing we had to do was go and knock, like randomly knock on this guy's door who doesn't know us at all and say to him Can I buy your car? Can we buy that car? Yeah. yeah. And I was like, I'm not knocking on the door. So. I was like, I'll do it. I'll get out and do it. Yeah. You and Roland were like, yeah, yeah we'll do no, it. I was like, yeah, well, well, we've got to do it. We've got to ask. Good morning. Hiya. Good morning, mate. Hello. Good morning. You won't um, know me, but my dad sold you this car, Peter Biddle. Oh, yeah. Yes. I was just wondering if you were any chance selling the car. So ba basically, it's coming up to nine years of the anniversary of my brother, and yeah. this is the only thing he talks about, and I really want to try and cheer him up. So I was just, is there any way you're selling it, or like, I don't know what you're... I would Oh, thank you. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah, that's, re that's really great. Um, what sort of... Like where, would like where would you stand come... with a figure? Like how much? Like maybe it's you, two hundred quid. Yeah. Oh, oh, thank that's, you. That's amazing. It's amazing. Thank that's, you. That's, that's brilliant. Really good. So it's such a funny thing, isn't it? One thing that just sticks in his head is the car. <laughs> hey. Hey, we Where's got they? it. Two hundred pounds. No way. Yeah. Seriously. He, said, he went. He went. I would never have sold it to anyone else. He said, I know how much it means to your dad, you can have it. So he oh, said amazing. £200 on Tuesday. So the first problem that we had is that the car wouldn't start. So we had to get a tow truck to come and get it out of the drive. So me and Roland went back to the car. Okay, so we've come to get the car, but it doesn't start. So we're going to have to tow it. So we're just trying to push it. I'll let it slowly. It's alright, I've got to put on the brake. He's been really off, yeah. The anniversary of Mickey's passing away was in March. So in the January was when we went to find the car. We knew we had, what, three months at the most. Yeah. So we got it towed to a local mechanic and we asked the mechanic to have a look over it. And we were just thinking, please don't tell us that it's just not gonna work or there's nothing you can do to it. And we started to look at all the different parts of the car. Like, could you, is there anything you could do to make the seats nicer? Because wasn't there that, like, touch up? on the bonnet, there was like yeah. huge, like, uh, rust. There was like, yeah, there was like uh, rust and there was some dents. So we were like, okay, do you know what? Like, fix the dents and completely respray yeah, the car. Yeah, but spray right. it so it looks how he would have had it nine years ago. It took quite a long time. So me and Roland would often go back to the garage, check up on it. Yeah. And then we'd always find another thing that needed fixing or something else here or the radio wasn't working. And like, it was getting so stressful because it was the closer it was getting to the to the time. We were like, is it going to be ready in time? Yeah. Is it going to be worth all this time and effort that we've we've put into this? And we also started putting so much money into it, considering that it was only a car that was like only a few hundred yeah. pounds. It was getting closer and closer to the time to give it to your dad. And you have me and you were like, is it done yet? Like, I was getting so stressed. I was just like, And then oh. I was getting stressed with Roland, like, Roland, speak to your, because it was Roland's mechanic, I'm like, speak to your mechanic, yeah, what's going was, on? And was... Roland would go down there and be like, 
mate, you really need to get this car done. Yeah. Like, you know, eventually we basically got the call like, look, the car is going to be ready in literally two days. And it was probably like... Which was, I was going to say, like, wasn't it only like a day or two? Is that the day, it was like the day before. Because we only had to think about how to hide it for like one day. Yeah, it was, sure. it, it was literally, it was, like, it was the day before. Yeah, since my brother passed away, like from the couple of weeks of it initially happening, we always was around our house. The whole family was together. And then every anniversary and every birthday since then, we've, we've kind of just glued together on those days just to yeah. support each other. So I knew it wouldn't be hard having everyone round because that's obviously- That's what, such a what, normal That's thing. normal, so my dad wouldn't have bought anything. But obviously to have a camera out, that would have been so, I spoke to my mum. My mum knew all along as well um, what we were doing. Everyone we were was planning. in on it. Everyone was in yeah. on it, yeah, true. Um, so what we said is like, we were like, if... So I said to Dad, like, Dad, Mickey, as you know, is a huge part of our lives and everyone on YouTube keeps wanting to know who Mickey is. I was like, so I want to do a little video, like, just to explain who he is and stuff. So we had everyone over um, and we, we said, like, we're filming this video. All right, first one to get the bottle flip, go. Who is this? Oh! Shame, shame! Oh! Come on, Roz. You do you, girl. Oh! Ready? Who's got it? Oh! Winner, winner. When he passed away, he was meant to be a groomsman at at your your wedding. And he'd bought that new suit himself. Normally, I'd have to buy it. Mm -hmm. But this particular time, he was so proud because he actually worked and bought his own suit from, from like you know, from out of his own money. Yeah, he'd done us a and, catwalk, didn't he? And yeah. he was, and uh, and he, we had the same suit and was in the kitchen, and he said, uh, "Yeah, Dad, you look alright, but yeah, not as good as me." <laughs> to talk about him, isn't it? Keep his memory going. They're both fine, but not for that reason. <laughs> so basically, we wanted my dad to say the words on camera. He oh. regretted getting rid of the car, but we didn't want to be the ones to say it. So we told my mum, and my mum was like, I know. If I say something I regret, 100%, here, say it. So then we to help with any like regrets or anything threw, like that. I threw all his clothes away, yeah. and I really, really wish I'd kept his black jacket, and I would have worn that. Mm. That's mine. Yeah, oh. mine's the same with the car. I had a, a Ford Mondeo that he absolutely loved. It was a powerhouse, and after he died, I I sold it. If you are in grief, be careful about selling things or moving things on or or taking things to the to the uh, charity shops, just just put them to one side for a while. Think about what you're doing because I've always regretted that. The car the is car literally is hidden outside. outside. It well, actually, I say outside, but thinking we, about it. I pretend to go to the shop. I'm like, I'm going to the shop, which yeah. is when I was really going to get the car. And then I kind of like had the car at the ready. You said to my, my when I told you I was ready, you said to dad, oh, just come outside and come and look at That type of reading. Do you recognise this car? No, I found for you! <laughs> Your car. <laughs> oh, my boy. What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, of course they are new. <laughs> Great teamwork. Wow.
Hmm. Don't mention this car. Well, I'm out. hoping you did. You had oh. to pretend it was a different kind of video to get you all here talking. Is this really for me? <coughs> Yeah. Oh my god. Come on. Have you got it back? <laughs> I'm going to go for driving it. Yeah, I'm going to come with you. This is so <laughs> Jump on in. Oh, it's so comfy. <laughs> we get. It doesn't lock. I do. Listen, don't point out the floors, okay? Not everything's quite fixed. No, no. It is the best car I've ever had in my life. Well done. Mission completed. <laughs> They're YouTubers and they brought him this. Bros <laughs> <laughs> like, don't get what the all the fuss no. is about. So that being a year ago, you know, he still drives the car now, oh, he still he loves, loves the car. Hope you guys enjoyed it. We enjoyed making the video. Yeah, right? uh, honestly, it's probably my best, like, favourite thing that we've done to see his face. Yeah. It's just 100%. the best. So, yeah. Cool. Love you, Dad. Love you, Mum. Bye. <laughs> Love you guys. <laughs>